Awesome. Hey everyone, welcome to Gamers Reality. This is Kevin Scrimma here on Scrimma Games, and I just downloaded Destiny 2.0, and I am excited to see what new content there is to explore. As you'll notice, I haven't uploaded a video in a while, and the reason for that is because my half-brother sat on my laptop or the ethernet cord and broke the inside of the port, had to be sent back. Fortunately, Lenovo prepared it for free, and I finally got it back just in time for this. The music is sounding awesome so far. I'm liking it. It's pretty ominous and dark. Good tone for the DLC. Ooh. I feel like there's a new look, but I can't tell what it is. Pretty sure I got all my exotics and gear on my Titan. Destiny 2.0.0 update. Attack and defense now contribute to your overall light, which is now displayed over your emblem. New ghost shell and class armor provide defense as well as other benefits. Monday.net for more details. Okay. Whoa. Wait, I need to see that again. Whoa. The reef is over here now. How did the reef change locations? <laughs> the moon looks a little different. Wow. What is this? The Taken King requires the Taken King. This is just awesome. Solar system. Milky Way galaxy. So I'm assuming there will be multiple solar systems. This will not be the only solar system in the game. Makes sense because they'll eventually run out of planets and stuff in there. All right, let's go to the tower and see what there is to do. The right score is an average of the attack and defense values across all your currently equipped gear. A higher light score improves both your damage output and your defense. So I'm one away from leveling up. Artifacts are available at level 40. Okay. Ghost. Ooh, a ghost is in that spot. Obviously I have no ghost shells. I'll broadcast on Twitch in case anyone wants to watch, but I don't expect anyone to come because I did not share the link. Alright, let's go check out what there is to explore. Gunsmith. Oh, the exotic bounty completion. I get my exotic bounties done. Present you the pocket infinity. Fires in full auto mode and has a chance to return rounds that miss the magazine. Expect to find more ammo for this weapon. Seems decent. Nice. The gunsmith has rep now. <laughs> we all start at zero when we know that should not be true. Got some focus light from the Red Bull codes. As you can see, all the attack and defense stats are changed, I believe, yeah. Point, moat. Oh, yeah, so you can put emotes there, that's what that is. Here's the quest screen, Path of the Defender. The tale of the Guardian's trials with the Word of Dawn. Legend of the Titan, the tale of a Titan on a path out of the darkness. Wow, so even though we beat the game and done everything in R34, we have to go back and do these quests, I'm assuming. Missions down here. Legendary marks. They haven't been converted yet. So let's go down here. Gonna slide on the table or miss the jump. Legend of the Titan. Talk to Zavala. Your time in the field has given you a sense of the real enemy before us. Numbers. I hate numbers. There are so very many of them. And their tomb ships and their catches. Deployed from garrisons and summoned from the depths of time itself. What do we have? 
faded mortar and aging cannons. This is why I speak so often about these walls we have built, Guardian, and every sense they are what separate us from the hordes beyond. Mark of the Pilgrim Guard. Can't even accept that gear. <laughs> Mark of a Kelslayer only has three defense? What? We got armor materials. Path of the Defender. The ward is not a weapon. You, Titan, are the weapon. The enemy does not break against your shield. They break against you. Go out onto the battlefield. Raise the ward and show them how fragile they are. Slay enemies. Defeat 50 enemies either within your ward of dawn or using your whatever. I can still buy these with vanguard marks for now, I guess. Ooh, and I got the experience bar down there. I wonder if if I start killing things, I gain experience again? Or that'll be so weird. I totally forgot about that bar down there. Against the darkness, I almost, almost pity the darkness. So much effort to reach us. Entire races of creatures consumed with a hunger for the light or deployed many light years from their homes, all here at our doorstep, waiting to tear down what we have built. They will fail, and we will make them pay for trying, Zabala. See quest steps early days, you carry the dream of the city with you, Titan, as you step back into the wilds. Always remember those of us behind the walls. We count on the strength of your shoulders. We're counting on you. Speak to Zavala. You have survived the dangers of the hive, the fallen. You should be proud, but do not become arrogant. There are plenty of shadows in the system, plenty of places for the enemy to hide. Talk to Zavala again. Now you've seen what we're up against. We don't like to tell guardians newly reborn just how bad it is out there. But you are ready for it. You're strong, prepared. You've done so much. You can do so much more. I speak often of the power of the city as a symbol, but never forget it is a real place, the home to a living, breathing people, a home that would not exist without your efforts. Down below us stretches the last free city on earth, and it is here because of your strength, your deeds. Do not forget this, Guardian. It is why we are here. Dr. Zavala, I am level 30. Unless I have to beat this. As the walls hold back the darkness, the, the defender holds up the light and defeats 50 enemies either within your ward of dawn or, or using your grenade and melee attack. So that's pretty easy. Um, yeah, I'm defender right now. Ooh, I got a new, ooh. These are like new icons. I'm still leveling up my Galhorn, so I'm gonna keep that there. Anyway. Intellect, cooldown is 446. Discipline, cooldown is 0.55. Strength, cooldown is 1 minute. Tracked items. Select quests and bounties from the quest screen to track their progress. Track, track. So we gotta slay some enemies and get that darkness quest completed. I'm gonna go to the wreath and see if I can turn in this exotic bounty real quick. Ooh, the vault. Weapons. More vault space, thank you so much. Thank you. So I heard Lord of Wolves is pretty much the best choice. Good for PvE. I need an exotic shotgun anyway. There we go. I think there are supposed to be new patrols, so I'm gonna go to Earth, try to get those quests completed, and see if there's any new patrols or events or whichever. I'm receiving reports of fallen snipers in proximity to the patrol beacon. Wow. That was a new ghost voice. Sounded interesting. It sounded very fresh. Sorry, it was on my phone. Okay. Coming 
the bubble. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's 49. Just need one more. Just gotta punch someone. Gotta punch a girl. Or him. There we go. Talk to Zavala. Speak to Zavala in the Hall of Guardians at the tower. Okay, I'll complete this and go do that. Public event completed. Got some spirit bloom. Dark iron. Some engram. Upgrade unlocked for my shoddy. Get hip fire and linear compensator. I'm so glad they changed it to armor materials instead of it being for each individual class. Why did I get to get a bounty? Why did I not get that? Defeat 50 Cabal. Hmm. A little change of look here. Defeat 10 Cabal Majors. 10,000 XP without dying, 220 orbs, go to York weapon kills, collect resource nodes, open chests, and kill enemies on Mars. I was speaking of your actions and bravery just today to a new recruit. I pointed you out and recounted for them a few of your deeds. They did not believe me. And so I said to them, Truthfully, that your service is the exception, and most who serve the vanguard will not reach your heights. But that does not make their service any less important. If they come to you seeking advice, I would ask that you give it with respect, and remember how far you have come. Wait, that has 160 defense? Okay. Nothing inspires a fire team like a defender. Your warlocks and hunters can stand safe in the knowledge that the darkness will break against the might of your word. Well done. Create orbs of light. Generate 25 orbs using your word of dawn. How does this have 160? Brought my light level up. Not going to be enough to get the one to get the 35. Just odd. Oh, this is where they put Eris. Not really. Here's where you can access vehicles. That goes 150. Matching upgrade right there. Shitty. Unless you're talking about your breasts. Why does that robot just stand there and sweep? The world may never know. Here's where you can access your emblems. Taken King, House of Worlds, Factions, Dark Blue. You can view the Taken King emblems already. Looks pretty good. Here's where you can access shaders. Wow. Take King shaders. Beltane, Vena Cava. Looks pretty good. Autumn Splendor. These ones are actually looking pretty good. Tristessi, Lion Dancer. 
These shaders are looking nice. Valsgarde. Or Valsgard. Antique land. Feud on fading. Shell Sidoni. I know I'm butchering a lot of these names. Yester Knight. And Anahata. And this is where you can buy some ghosts shells let's see 160 up 36 I'm just gonna buy them all why not it's a Vardant shell so what's a sky shell? Verdant shell. What's a sky shell? I wonder if I'll level up for this. Three. I don't know if you can't level up until the DLC or what that is. Cause I'm confused. Access abandoned quests. Wow. So these are all quests we can do. Wow. They're not abandoned, it's just that we didn't do them yet. Wow. I didn't even realize those were there. A stranger's call. It's not every day you get a transmission from a mysterious ex who claims to know us and wants us to go to Venus and... Things are getting weird, aren't they? Follow a stranger's coordinates to a legendary colony lost in the jungles of Venus. Complete mission and a stranger's call. We've already done that a ton of times. Petra seems much nicer than the queen or her brother. Let's keep working with her. She wants us to go meet with the other denizens of the outpost. Seems like a little meets and greets is in order. Speak to Varix, the Cryptarch, and I of Osiris at the Vestian Outpost. We did that. We make it out of the Cosmodrome with a ship, and it turns out to not have a warp drive. Typical. Vivella will know what to do, I hope. Speak to Vivella and the Hall of Guardians. The tower. Escape the Cosmodrome when it's safer, Guardian. I didn't find you, just lose you again. We need to get behind the walls of the city. Find a ship and use it to escape the city. These are so. These are just like old missions that we've done. Hive on Earth. If you think the Fallen are bad, well, we need to alert the Speaker. He'll know what to do. Eris Morn has a reputation. Strange, driven, even disturbing. But she's been right more times than she's been wrong. Taking down a Hive champion like the Fist can only be good for the city. Weapon Blueprints. Requires level 40. I want that service regime. <laughs> Missing an exotic blueprint. Requires discovery to unlock. Last word. Red death. Bad juju. 
truth. Glad that's getting an upgrade. That's great. Rocket launcher. Thunderlord. And this year one primary is year one heavy, year one special. Wow. Truth will be better than Gallahorn? What? <laughs> Armor blueprints. We got two helmets. I've like never seen that helmet before. What the fuck? Let's speak to him. The complete our quest we've done. Titan's field issue equipment. Provisions for newborn guardians. Holiday is a skilled technician. Your ship is restored. Unfortunately, her report says you're missing a warp drive. This is like doing the game all over again. Okay, go. Requisition new weapon. I'll pick this level 2 pulse rifle. Retrieve your ship. Oh my god, this is so stupid. What do you I'm coming, baby. <laughs> we got the Arcadia class jump ship again. Stupid, whatever. Anytime, baby. No vision. Come, let me clutch thee. Looks cool, doesn't look any cooler than the queen ships in my opinion. Whoa. Defeat orcs in the king's fall raid. Wow. That is a crazy hive ship. Promotional. I'll go with Dead Orbit this week. Oh my god, you 50. Not that big of a deal. Access emotes. Oh my god. Don't have to do this whole thing all over again. Ready for an adventure, Guardian? The Queen's Wrath is Hunt Draxus, the House of Winners Kill, hiding deep in the cave to the Ishtar Sink. It's the same no, fucking no. thing. Level two. <laughs> the speaker earth story. Report. Oh, you complete him from the screen. You don't have to go there to complete him anymore. Up 
that. And you got that. That's good. Game just froze. I don't remember this mission, I swear. I'm so confused. Damn it, I need one more kill. Oh my god. If those Scion players were tangling with Rasputin, they are way more powerful than we realize. We better keep an eye on where the Cabal deploy those things. Who knows what their minds can do? Kill him. So if you pre-order the Taken King, you get this Soros Fire Emblem and the Soros Minimalist Shader, which looks pretty good, decent. I like this one better though. Two twenty. Wow. So this is worth it, guys. You get this two twenty defense mark. Oh, requires level forty though. You can still get it. The stupid little really marker thing I guess.
All right, you guys, that was pretty much the gist of Destiny 2.0.0 update. It was pretty cool. They introduced a lot of stuff that I thought was going to be in the DLC. You get ghost shaders, they adjusted the light level to reflect armor and defense values. You get quests now, more vault space, different voice for the ghost strikes that were PS4 exclusive. Now they're on the Xbox One. You can see your schematics for your emblems, armor, weapons, stuff like that. And I might be missing something, but yeah, it was really fun. Um, Arms Day has arrived. There's new weapons. The weapon foundries of the last city have made their weekly delivery in support of the tower. Gunsmith Banshee Dash 44 has new prototype weapons for testing, and the Vanguard and Crucible Quartermasters have updated their inventories. And I got this Valoris achievement, Earn Vanguard Rank 1. You know, I'm pretty sure I was already Vanguard Rank 1, if not. Five. Vanguard rank 13. <laughs> Unless it means 13 or something. Thank you guys for watching. Please click that like button if you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you guys taking the second to do that. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about the Destiny 2.0.0 update and how it compares to previous Destiny. A lot of Guardians say that this is how the game should have been when it first came out. Don't forget to click that subscriber button right on your screen. I'll be covering everything about the Taken King when that comes out, so if you are a subscriber you won't forget and miss out. And feel free to share this video with other Guardians and check out the social media links below. You can check out Gamers-Reality.com for gaming news, articles, updates. Alright Gamers, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.